As the war grinds on, this morning Israeli officials are discussing more proposals to get Hamas back to the table without committing to a full ceasefire. Israeli media this morning stressing there's a wide gap between the two sides, but the talks are not at a standstill. We're in communications with the Americans, with the Qataris, with the Egyptians, and we will not waste any real opportunity that exists to get our people out. But inside Israel, frustration is growing. Protesters gathered outside last night's war cabinet meeting, chanting, bring them home now. The Israeli military said last night they are making progress, claiming control over the Shujaya neighborhood of Gaza City and announcing they've killed 2,000 Hamas fighters just this month. NBC News has not confirmed that number. But in the rest of Gaza, a ceasefire would bring desperate relief. A new UN-backed report says 93% of the population is facing crisis levels of hunger, nearing famine. At least one in four households is facing catastrophic conditions. That's about half a million people starving. <laughs> Rosan Al-Habash tells our team, I wake up every morning to wait in long lines for food, but sometimes I wait till the afternoon without any food and we don't eat that day. The report also underscores the lack of aid coming in. The White House was asked about the challenges. I wish I could tell you there's like one bottleneck. There's a bunch of reasons. Every day is different. The U.S. has also signaled after a much-delayed U.N. Security Council resolution vote that they're ready to support watered-down wording with an emphasis on making a pathway for more aid faster. The U.N. says the quantity of food coming in is just 10 percent of what's needed. Now helping to increase that, Chef Jose Andres and World Central Kitchen inside Gaza this week. A lot of people very, very happy to see us. Andres says they've already delivered 12 million meals since they started their work inside, with more on the way. Now, good news that international organizations are actually getting in with food. But the U.S. also says, and this is John Kirby speaking at that same press conference yesterday, that the Israelis know they need to ratchet it back and transition to a lower intensity phase of the war. Craig? Good to see Jose Andres there. Molly Hunter there for us. Molly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.